all in law. This is a quick pediatrics and today I am going to talk about disorders of amino acids metabolism and we are going to talk about important amino acid metabolism disorders for USMLE and for MRCPCH examination. So let's start. So we are going to talk about very briefly the four important disorders that is phenylketonuria phenylketonuria then we have homocystinuria okay then we have maple syrup urine disorder or disease then we have heart nubs disease right so I'm gonna ask you the deficiency tell me the deficiency then what is the accumulation what is accumulated because of the deficiency of that enzyme and what are the important clinical features clinical features okay important what you call distinctive clinical features okay right so phenylketonuria phenylketonuria is autosomal is autosomal tell me is a recessive or what is autosomal recessive okay What's the enzyme deficiency over here? Is phenyl alanine hydroxylase. Phenyl alanine hydroxylase. This is really very important, guys. Okay. What's accumulated? Phenyl alanine and metabolites. Okay. And metabolites, right? And what is it? Distinctive clinical feature or any feature of this fair hair look for fair hair and skin blue eyes and mousy odor okay phenylketonuria is autosomal recessive enzyme deficient over here is a phenylalanine hydroxylase and the accumulation is phenylalanine and its metabolites what is the distinctive what are the distinctive features is a fair hair and skin blue eyes and mossy odor okay right homocystinuria is autosomal recessive okay all most of the metabolic disorders are autosomal recessive remember okay so what's the enzyme deficient? Cystathione, thionine synthase. Cystathionine synthase. Okay. So what's the accumulation? What's that is homocysteine and methionine. H and M, remember, okay? H and M. So what's the important features? And this disease should be differentiated from which other important disease? That is the Marfan syndrome, right? Here, look for ectopia lentis. Okay. Right. In another video, I'm going to tell you how to differentiate homocystinuria from Marfan syndrome. Okay, because both of them share the common clinical features, and that's really very important to differentiate. In your USMLE or in your mass PCH examination okay maple syrup urine disease is a branched chain keto acid dehydrogenase branched chain keto acid dehydrogenase okay What's the accumulation? Branched chain amino acids. Which are those? LIV, LIV. Tell me. Leucine. Yes, isoleucine. Then valine. Okay. Leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Right. And what's the special order? Order of maple syrup in urine, sweat, and cerumen. Okay. Right. Order of maple syrup. Right. Hard nub disease, what's the enzyme deficient? Is a transport deficiency, transport system. That is a sodium dependent amino acid transport system, right? In the renal tubules or in 
intestines intestine or renal tubules rt okay what's the deficient is the sodium dependent amino acid transport this is a transporter okay and um, in heart and disease what is accumulated deficiency of neutral amino acids neutral there are many neutral amino acids i will tell you i'm going to upload a new video on heart and disease briefly important for only for those students appearing for mrcpch examination or usmle neutral amino acids okay like a tryptophan okay and most of the patients of heart and disease are asymptomatic remember okay and this is also autosomal recessive disorders so all the metabolic disorders we discuss over here that's a phenylketonuria homocystinuria msud and heart of diseases are autosomal recessive okay guys thank you so much for watching this video take care